Hey guys, today I'll be taking apart a two-way radio and this radio has a five mile range. I am not sure the name of the brand as I cannot find the charging dock because you are able to charge this and also it has the slot here where you can put regular batteries or rechargeable batteries and then you could charge it on the dock but it vanished so we'll just have to work with this okay now I can see right here already there's four Phillips head screwdrivers bring my trusty tool out here and start my disassembly process here that's one there's the other one here come on there we go I love these magnetic tip screwdrivers they come in real handy so that's what I use guys it doesn't matter which brand you get but I love using magnetic tip screwdrivers makes my job a lot easier okay this should be number four All right, number four off. It's loosened a little bit, but ooh, got it. This is the back cover. There's nothing much inside here, just where the batteries go and where the charging units hooked up on the bottom. And you see the two springs right here that connect to the main board so these two springs connect right here and here to the main board Just send power in okay now up here I see I get more screws here they are also Phillips head screws let me see Oof. I'm gonna have to turn it away guys because this see, there's so many light coming off of it you're not going to get a good image so I'll try to keep it turned this way so it won't affect the camera <laughs> alright All right, now I got the plate off it was held by three screws took that off now you can see the antenna here get the plastic covering off it's just a coil of metal. I'm not sure if it's copper or aluminum. Or I'm not sure what, which metal this one is here. All right, now I'm going to start looking at the parts on here. I can already see a lot of transistors on here. Let me get into view so you guys can see it. I can already see a lot of transistors on this. And there's a little, the smaller ones which you guys can barely see are multi layer ceramic capacitors. But you guys can barely see them, they're so small. And a lot of the stuff I take apart, I usually don't see this. Right here, guys, this is a resistor. I can already see three resistors right here. I usually don't even see these in most of the stuff I take apart. I'm surprised, but yeah. I can already see three resistors on this little radio here. Or walkie-talkie, whatever you want to call it. Two-way radio. And let's see. If I can remove this tape I'm trying to find out let's hear <laughs> be with me guys I'm using screwdrivers for this which you shouldn't be doing you should be using a knife or something I'm trying to okay here what I'm doing I'm trying to get this plastic off so I can see whether this is 
a capacitor or something else because usually with a capacitor you'll see the voltage so I'm trying to get this tape out of my way so I can see what this is here um no it's not this is not a capacitor it looks like it might be a receiver or some sort but I am not exactly sure but it's probably the receiver for the two-way communication and I'm surprised another thing I, I usually don't see on the devices I break apart this is inductor these little coiled up wires they are known as inductors okay I usually don't see those when I take apart a lot of my devices so that's another surprising thing for me okay there's another Excuse me. Transistor. Hey, am I getting this in angle? Sorry if I'm not getting this in angle so you guys can see what I'm pointing at, guys. There's the main control switch up here, on and off. And this is the main board here. And you guys can probably see it. It has 10 V, that is 10 volt, and that is a capacitor. There's another one right here. They're capacitors. There's a, I don't know why all these are covered up with tapes. There's a lot of stuff in here that they have taped off. Now let's take this out. This is the front body of it you can see this is the speaker right here this is the LCD screen in the front another capacitor over here more over here, There's two more right here well this, this is the mic right here. This is the mic. And so this radio has a lot of different kinds of electronic circuits and components. It has the multi-layer transistors, capacitors, it has resistors, it has inductors. It has it is a many, many different kinds of circuits on this. Okay guy. I'm a let me try to get this out before I end the video. Cause I don't want to make the video too long. This is on let's see, there is no screws on this plate here wait I see one Phillips head screw right here I'm hoping that it take the whole unit off here ah it looks like I might be able to there you go alright I got this peeled back now guys We've got, trying to see here, another capacitor, more transistors. So that was all, and then they have the headphones and the on and off. So that was all that was behind here, guys. Nothing much new. See? And I, I'm, I'm still not sure what this is. 
but it has a control here for the frequency so you can change the frequency on a frequency modulator or whatever they call them so I'm not too familiar with those but I think that's what it might be Oops. but that's it for this guys I hope it it was informative and it helps you guys out and as always you guys know you're in charge thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you don't and thank you for watching my video bye bye